Hey guys, Newbie here, and today I wanted to go over a new piece of software, and this is for um, some of my favourite games, Heart Gold and Soul Silver. And this will use the Game Pro to find a shiny starter. So the first thing you can see, I've saved the game in front of the three Pokeballs, um, and then what you want to do is um, navigate to the um, Heart Gold Soul Silver. Uh, file, so I'll just show you that's this one here the Gen 4 Heart Gold Soul Silver, and then this Shiny Starter software. So that's available in the Dropbox now. Um, so there's a, a README file, and then there's also the source file. The one you want to run is um, the application file. And just one thing to note um, because this does use the webcam, you also need to make sure you have the uh, OpenCV World um, file installed on your computer and ideally placed in the same uh, folder where you run this from um, so that that file is available in these DLL files this one here um, which is also available in the Dropbox okay so I'm just going to double click this to run and it'll ask which camera to open up which for me is zero perfect and com port number for me is eight Right, and the software will start off by soft resetting, which um, is always the, the first step just to make sure it's always in the right place um, when it starts. And I've noticed um, running the software, a couple of these delays at the start are probably a bit longer than they need to be. Although, having said that, um, some people's systems take a bit longer to uh, load when they've been soft reset for, uh, for whatever reason, so I tend to leave those a little bit longer um, than I need to although I may go back and uh, change that at some stage so this the software is basically just um, cycled through and and paused at uh, at this point on Chikorita um, and the reason is we need to set up some pixels for color detection for the shinies so this software um, will, will check all three starters for uh, for shininess so, um, starting with the Chikorita, you should be able to see on here, there's a little red square. That's the um, going to be the target pixels for shiny detection, which at the moment, actually, where that's sitting is fine. You can move them around um, using these letters. So I'll just demonstrate that. But to be honest, you should be able to use the leaf on Chikorita's head. I think it goes sort of a reddish color on the shiny version. So we'll just set that right there. And if we're happy with that, um, we'll enter zero. And I'll ask if that's calibrated properly, which will say yes. Okay, so that's given us the uh, these three values. That's the R, G, and B pixel values, average within that range. And then enter the color tolerance for shiny detection. Um, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use 15. Um, I've said you can use 10 there. That might be a little bit tight. 15 should be comfortable. Um, and then we can hit enter. And it will move on to Cyndaquil, and we have to do the same thing. So what I'm going to do for Cyndaquil is I'm actually just going to choose these pixels on its back there. Um, this one's a reasonably subtle change in terms of the colour, but um, we should still be able to um, pick that up. So again, there's the RGB values and then I'm going to use 15 again for the tolerance. Now one thing you can do if you don't want it to um, stop when it finds a, a shiny starter that you don't want, for example if you didn't want Cyndaquil but you'd be happy with either of the other two, um, what you can do is um, set this tolerance value to 255 and then basically that means um, it'll, it'll never stop even if it finds a shiny on that particular Pokemon because it's always going to think it's within the, the color range regardless of what values it returns. Um, so 15 is good for Cyndaquil and then Totodile likewise. So I'm just going to put this on this little arm there. Perfect. And again I'll just use a value of 15 for the color tolerance. So there we go, that's um, all three of them set up so now we're just going to basically leave this running um, in theory because we've got three chances it should take um, 
you know, on average about a third less than the 8,192, which was the, uh, the shiny odds in these uh, this generation. So we'll just let that cycle through one more time and make sure it um, checks all those pixels correctly, and then we can leave it running and come back later and uh, see if it's uh, it's working properly. Yep, there we go. So um, again, it's it's spit out those um, pixel values for um, Chikorita, Cyndaquil, and Totodile, and they look very similar to um, the ones in the first encounter, which they should be. Um, and um, the shiny, when the shiny occurs, and those values change by more than that 15. So it just takes any one of these values to change by more than 15 from those original values. Uh, and it will stop because it's at that point that it's detected a shiny. Okay, so we're going to leave that running and come back and check on it later and see if we've had some luck. Okay, and we're back and that took uh, more than three days that hunt. So you can see here the total um, soft resets was 7,784. So that's the number of soft resets, there's three encounters effectively per soft reset, so that's close to three times odds. Um, but you can see here we finally found a shiny Totodile. Um, and if you have a look at these RGB values, so that one's for Chikorita, that one is for Cyndaquil, and then this last one is for Totodile. So this is a shiny Totodile, um, so that's the red, green and blue values. And then if you look at the previous encounter, this was also for Totodile, but you can see the change. So the red's gone up slightly from 145 to 161. Um, green's gone up significantly from 220 up to 250. Um, and then uh, the blue has also gone down from 221 down to 176. Um, so there we go, so that's proof that it works on the toted olive. Run the software a couple of times now. I've um, found a shiny Cyndaquil and also another shiny toted olive. So I know at least it works on those two. I haven't found a shiny Chikorita yet, but in theory it uh, should do exactly the same thing. So um, there it is, the uh, shiny starter software for Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to leave a like. And until next time, see ya.